Thank you, Scott. Major upgrades are coming to St. Louis City to protect people from severe weather. The outdoor emergency siren system is getting replaced. Our Justina Cornell spoke to the Emergency Management Agency's commissioner today, and she joins us live from downtown St. Louis. Justina. Well, there are 60 sirens in the city of St. Louis, and they could add more or less depending on which technology they pick. But they said no matter what, they want to ensure safety. The goals are still the same. We want to warn people that are outside when severe weather is approaching. The goals remain, but change is needed. At least two decades, it's, it's been roughly 24 years. That's when their last outdoor warning siren system was put in place for St. Louis City's Emergency Management Agency, known as SEMA. The agency's commissioner, Sarah Russell, said $3.9 million will be spent to replace it to get effective coverage. We do want to primarily make sure that we get those outside spaces park spaces, places where people congregate. Several inconsistent tests alerted them. The diagnostic side of the system, we're not getting the type of responses that, that we would like, so it's hard for us to be able to remotely test and, and make an inquiry of a siren and get information back from it. So I'm looking and hoping that that's going to give us a lot more data on the new system. The agency also created PSAs in six additional languages. In caso de emergencia o catastrofe. The PSA is, is very brief. It's a 30 second spot. Um, it gives a basic intro to SEMA, City Emergency Management Agency, letting everybody know that, you know, we try to give you alerts and warnings so that you can make a decision for your own safety. And it directs people to sign up for alerts through Notify STL. The International Institute of St. Louis said this is a much needed move. Just in the last three months alone, we've resettled more than 500 individuals who speak more than 40 languages. These sorts of things are signifiers to new arrivals and in, in terms of how welcoming um, the community can be. Um, the more the more accessible information is, the more engaged people can become. Right now, the agency is looking for bids to make these changes and this whole process will go until 2025. Reporting live, Justina Cornell, five on your side.